if there's one car that really exemplifies what nostalgia drag racing is all about, it's the Marcellus and Boris Winged Express. This car was notorious for going down the drag strip sideways, tires blazing, and wild Willie Boris with one hand on the steering wheel. Well, that car's been recreated, and now Mike Boy drives this car. Mike, what is it like to drive a bit of history? It's very uh, awesome, to say the least, um, to be able to get inside of a car like this with this much history and to be able to uh, do the best I can to get it down the track. It's uh, fun for me, and it's obviously fun for the people in the stands. I was going to say a lot of fans really look at this car and say, boy, this brings back so many memories of Lions Dragship, Irwindale, Orange County International Raceway. I grew up at Lions. My dad uh, drove a top fuel car, and so I've been around my whole life, and now I've had the opportunity to get involved and do it myself. A lot of fun. How long have you been driving the car? I've been driving this car. It's our seventh year. How did you happen to hook up with, uh, with Mousy on this project? Believe it or not, I was driving my own front engine top fuel car, and uh, they were looking for a driver, and he happened to live about five miles away, and he, uh, somebody had come up and said, hey, there's a guy that wants to drive the thing. I said, hey, I'll give it a shot. So he asked, and seven years later, here we are. What's been response like for you guys so far? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, the people, like I said, when you get it down the track, I mean, they enjoy it. it takes, it's a half mile. For me, it's a half mile to get to the quarter mile, so they, they're really having fun with it. Tell me about what it's like to drive this car. This is a handful to take down the racetrack. Um, believe it or not, this car is the same little base as Willie had. Everything's the same. The only thing different with this car is the roll cage for safety purposes. We couldn't run it the way he had it. They only had one hoop. Now we have to have six. But the motor, wheelbase, everything else is just the same. And believe it or not, with a car like this, you just kind of go the line. You're ready for anything. You let the clutch out, and you don't know what it's going to do. So you're prepared for whatever. But always be prepared. <laughs> so. Obviously, probably one of the wildest cars that you've had the opportunity to drive. Oh, yes, absolutely. I drove a front-engine top fuel car, and it was a Cadillac. This thing here has taught me a lot in seven years, a lot. What kind of performances do you normally get out of this race car? The car will run around 740s, around 200 miles an hour when it goes straight. <laughs> and how often does it do that? Uh, about every other run. It gives me a good one, then a wild one, a good one, a wild one, so it's fun. So how many other races will you guys run during the year? I know you may participate in other match racing around the area. This year we're going to have a total of 17 events, and then we go to a couple others that we're going to hit up in uh, uh, Boise and stuff, so that'll be fun there too. You guys are pretty busy with this race car. Real busy. Real busy. He's trying hard to juggle the job and come out here and play and tell me you're a race car driver. <laughs> so what kind of performances are you hoping for the weekend out of this car? Um, I try to run it pretty conservative. I would say probably around 750s, maybe 190, 200, somewhere in there. We try to keep it, keep it alive because we have a lot of events to go to and we don't want to hurt anything. So we're not really out to break any records. You know, We're just out here to put on a good show. And so far you guys have done that. Well, yeah, the car has. I just scream and hang on. Yeah, even just sitting here, it seems like it gets so much attention by people who just want to come up and, and see and, and touch and feel a bit of the past. Well, with this car, we don't want to change anything. A lot of cars that come back, they've modified them, lengthened them, lowered them, done a lot of things, and we said, no way, we're going to bring it back exactly the way it was. And the only changes we did was the roll cage. Other than that, she's the same old beast. Do you ever get a sense that, uh, uh, that Wild Willie just kind of drives this car with you? I can hear him every once in a while going, left, right, left. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. All right, good luck to you, Mike. Thank you, sir. Well, it is really the icon of nostalgia drag racing, the Wing Express, and Mike Boyd is really touching a bit of that nostalgia drag racing history.